Minute with Southern Adornments Decor. Uh, it's about nine o'clock in the morning here in Kentucky and I just thought I'd hop on here and uh, let you guys watch me do a little bit of painting. I was gonna get um, this really cute little owl painted this morning. Um, I had a lady out in California, hello if you're watching, uh, she contacted me and asked if I could paint some or cut out some some little shapes for her to put on her wreaths and uh, she asked me to go ahead and paint one so that she can use it as an, as an example and I've cut out two of these. She's going to paint the other one and then she's also doing a couple of really cute little candy corn shapes and uh, she's going to add those to a wreath. So I'm really excited to see what it looks like um, after I ship it to her and she adds it to the wreath. So I'm hoping she sends me a picture. But this is just like a little, uh, it's about 12, maybe 14 inches tall a little owl and I've already drawn like the eyes and the wing on there so I'm just gonna let you guys watch me paint this this morning it's kind of early so um, I don't know how many people will have hop on good morning Melissa how are you down in Louisiana but it's hot down there I know it's been hot up here in Kentucky so if you have any questions feel free to ask I was up really late last night so um, you guys will see the evidence of that at 11 o'clock. I've got something kind of funny that I'm going to post. Because you know how like when you're up late and you're messing around on your phone and you start using the Snapchat filters? Well, you'll get to see the product of that. <laughs> My husband actually busted out laughing when he watched it. So stay tuned at 11 o'clock for a little laugh. It'll kind of brighten your day, I'm sure. I'm starting out with this color called Burnt Umber. And I'm just like painting the body of the owl this color. The reason I'm doing um, brown is because the customer said that the wreath was going to be an orange and brown. So it's going to be kind of like a fall wreath. <clears throat> and she wanted me to paint the owl to match. So I am doing some browns and some oranges. And then I was thinking maybe turquoise eyes. What are your thoughts on that? Let me know what you think. If you think another color would be better. Or if you think turquoise would be good. I was just thinking turquoise would make like a good complementary color to the orange. It's hot and humid down there. I bet it is. I've never been to Louisiana actually. Sorry, I was having to concentrate going around that circle. I don't know how well you guys can see. I'm trying to paint so that you can see what I'm doing. But the camera angle makes it difficult for me to just lay it down. And I always like to paint the edges. It just makes it look better when you're done. So... That's what I'm doing now, and I'm just using a flat brush that's about a half inch wide. It's one of my favorite brushes because it lays down a lot of paint and can get the job done. Good morning, Karen. How are you this morning? As you come on here, tell me, hey, tell me where you're from. Tell me what you're up to this morning. Are you at work or are you at home? I only got out of bed about an hour ago, and that was only because uh, we had overslept. Like I said, we were up late last night. My husband got a wild hair to go outside and paint, uh, paint, plant a couple of trees that I had bought on clearance, and um, it's just been too hot to get out and paint them, uh, plant them. I've got painting on the brain. It's too hot to get out and plant them during the day, so he got out at like 10 o'clock last night and didn't come in until almost 1 a.m., Good morning, Kay. Where did I get my paint brushes? I actually buy them online. I will see if I can post a link in the comments after the video is over so that you guys can go and buy the paint brushes that I buy. I promise they are cheap. They're not like expensive, fancy brushes. They, I always make sure and try to get the ones that have like the flexible nylon bristles though because I just... I think they control the paint better. You've got more control of where you're putting it, and I'm able to lay down these nice straight lines. If you get like bristles that are all wiry, you can't really do that. Good morning, Becky. Oh, you love my curly hair. This is all natural, girl. I took a shower last night before bed and let it air dry, and this is what I wake up with in the morning. This is a good morning. Some mornings you wake up and it's like, all over the place and you don't even like you're just like oh we're gonna have to either straighten this or put it in a ponytail because it is not gonna behave today but this is a good morning I woke up and I didn't have to do anything to it crystal you need to you're right you do need to host a paint party again I've got several openings in August so give me a holler <clears throat> I'm trying to fill up my August calendar 
I've had a lot of people say, oh, I want to do one in September or October. Well, we probably need to be getting those booked too because I usually book up pretty fast and I, I would hate for people to like wait too late and then feel bad because last year I had to actually turn a few people away. I was so booked up and there's only so much one girl can do. This is a terrible camera angle, I'm sure. <laughs> now you can kind of see what I'm doing. In case you're just coming on, I'll kind of re-explain. A lady out in California, Beverly Hills, California, actually, uh, messaged me, and she is making wreaths, and she wanted me to cut out a couple of small shapes for her. Um, she wanted me to paint this one to kind of use as an example, and she's going to paint the second one. And then she's going to attach them to some of her wreaths and sell them. So I'm really hoping she sends me a picture when she's done so I can see the final product. I think that would be super cute. And she's also ordered a couple of candy corn ones that are going to be really cute for fall. So that's why I'm painting it these colors. She asked for these colors because they're going to be in the wreath. Let me get some more of this color here, the burnt umber. Hello, Miss Dana. I see where you just got on here. How are you this morning? The kids had a friend over last night, and so they woke up bright and early this morning, and of course they were begging to play Xbox first thing as soon as they woke up. So if you hear them playing in the background, they're in there playing Halo or something like that. I don't know. A shooting game, I'm sure. That's all they want to do is play games that have guns. Almost done with this brown color. Now I think I'm going to paint the wing orange and do like maybe polka dots or something on the wing. What do you guys think? I didn't get any, I don't know if I, anybody commented or not, but what did you think about the turquoise colored eyes? Do you think that'll be a good color? That's kind of what I'm thinking, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. This is one of those things where I just kind of like figure it out as I go. I don't really have a set game plan. I just kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do. I got a white paint bottle out that didn't, that wasn't even opened yet. Let me get this seal off of here. I get all of my paints at Walmart. They're the Apple Barrel brand, and I like to buy them in the matte. Yes, on the eyes. Thanks, Karen. I think we'll try that. But first, I'm going to do um, the white part of the eyes. Let me see if I can get in a good angle for you guys. It's just the outer circle part here using the same brush it's gonna go around I was hoping I could get this video done pretty quickly that way um, Charlie doesn't wake up because that girl likes to eat the second she gets up and <laughs> I would have a hard time. You guys would have to like hang tight while I fixed her some breakfast real quick or something or all we would hear was eat, eat. My mother says I was that way when I was little though. Used to love to eat the second I get up. Okay, so we got the white part of the eyes painted. The light coming in from the back porch is really bright so I don't know if you can see that. Yes, on the turquoise and the polka dots. Thank you, Melissa. Okay, while that's drying, I'm going to go down here and go ahead and paint the wing, and I'm using Spiced Carrot. It's just kind of like a little bit of a darker orange. Just a tad darker. This makes me think of like pumpkin spice and fall. It'll be here before we know it, folks. I know it's only July, but I feel like I blinked and June went by, and I've blinked again and we're already halfway through July. Summer is fading fast. Kids around here start back, well, our kids start back to school August the 8th, so we only have maybe three weeks left before we have to go back to school. Seems like it gets earlier every year. I don't know what time y'all's school starts, but I feel like when I was little it was like the end of August, but now that my kids are going to school, it's the beginning of August. It's not enough summer. Okay, so we got this whole wing painted orange. And when that dries, we'll do the polka dots. I got a 
decent amount of viewers for 9 a.m. <laughs> How many of you guys are still laying in bed watching this? <laughs> Or how many of you guys are being sneaky and watching it work? <laughs> Good morning, Rhonda. Oh, starting next year, it'll be at the end of August. State passed a law. I had no idea. Does that apply to like, I guess it applies to all the schools then. Okay, I guess I should explain what I'm doing. And I'm using my handy dandy egg carton. You'd never do something like that. Okay, I've got my spiced carrot in there, and I'm just going to add a few drops of this um, antique white. It's just kind of like a creamy white color, and I'm just lightening this orange up because I thought I would do the polka dots in like a, a lighter shade of orange. Let me see if that's going to be bright enough. No, I want them a little lighter than that. I'm probably going to have to wait till this paint dries. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna add some more white. I just kind of want it like a creamy, like almost like a, a push pop, like an orange push pop. Did you guys have those when you were little? Those were like my favorite popsicle when I was little. Okay, so I've got it all loaded up on there. It's just kind of a creamy orange color. Melissa, I'm killing time with my 15 year old. Take, oh, he's taking a test for his driver's permit. Ooh, I've still got a few years before mine does that. I'm terrified though. Like, I took all of my children's so far, their birthdays pretty well. Like, I haven't been like, oh, you know, my baby's growing up until this last one when my oldest turned 10. Something about that double digit was so hard and it like freaked me out because I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna blink and then I'm gonna have a teenager. And then he's gonna be driving and then he's gonna move out and then I'm gonna miss him. And so that was like the first time that I started feeling kind of sad about my kids growing up you know you're always excited for them to reach the next the next thing but when he turned 10 that was hard on me and he'll be 11 in October so oh my phone's popping up a message about my storage being full I've got so many apps on my phone I've only got like a 16 gig phone and I think when I upgrade I'm gonna have to get one that has more gigabytes because I'm just running out of storage space even though I keep like deleting my photos and stuff like I think it's just the number of apps on my phone they just have too much going on I'm just adding a couple of half dots here and there kind of make it look like it's going off the edge like a pattern or something I'll do one more up here okay so our owl has polka dotted wings thank you Amanda well, hopefully he passes his test, Melissa. I passed mine the first time, but I can't remember what it was I did wrong. It was something about the parking brake or something like that. Oh, I forgot. We need to paint the beak orange, too. That's not a good brush. I'm kind of brush picky. And I, I should have done that before I added some white to my orange. So let me add some regular spice carrot over in another egg carton space. If you are not painting out of egg cartons, you should really try it. The only downside is to like mixing your colors. It's easier on a paper plate, but like if you don't do a whole lot of color mixing, then the egg carton is awesome because it keeps your paints from drying out as fast because it keeps them like in a nice little pile. <laughs> I don't like it when my paint gets spread out over my, my um, plate. I like it when it stays in a nice little pile. But yeah, like I said, when you go to mixing colors, it's not as handy. You might want a paper plate for that. But I've got to wear like my mom and everybody and I'm having them save their egg cartons for me because I just, I prefer that over a plate now. I've even like left my paint in there and it wasn't even a whole lot, just like a quarter amount maybe. And like the next day, come back, add a touch of water to it and it just, it was fine. It like, it kept it from drying completely out. Okay, we've got the beak painted. Now, oh, and I almost forgot the little feet at the bottom. I need a bigger brush for that though. Let me wash this one out. He's gonna have a lot of orange on him. He will be very fall looking. I was afraid to use a whole lot of colors though because like I said, she's putting this on a wreath that's brown and orange and I I don't have a picture of the wreath so I, I was afraid to get too far outside the box with the colors, I didn't want it to clash. Okay, so we got that done.
What did you say? $500? That's expensive. It's $20 at our... You have to pay to take their test? Or is it like driver's school or something? That's insane. I don't think we have to do that around here. I mean, I think I did take like summer driver's ed or something, but my parents had me do that because it was going to save us on our um, insurance or something. Okay, now I'm using the Caribbean color. It's just kind of like a turquoise and I'm gonna do the eyes and then I'm gonna do like the black dot in the center of the eyes. So I'm not gonna stay inside the lines on the inner part because the black will cover it. But I do wanna stay on the lines on the outer part because I want it to be nice and circular. This brush probably wasn't the best choice, but it's getting the job done. It's kind of leaving streaks. Okay, getting turquoise eyes. Our Louisiana makes you take a driver's school program at the school, which costs almost as much. Wow. I don't think they do that around here, but like I said, it could be a, I mean, I could be completely wrong. And like when my kid turns 16 or I could totally be blown away and shocked by the new laws and rules and stuff because I'm, I'm kind of clueless. Maybe some of my mama friends will give me a heads up when their kids go to take theirs. It's going to be a few more years, so things could change before then. Okay, like I said, I'm not staying inside the lines on the inner part because I'm just going to paint over that with black. But I like the turquoise. I think it looks good with the orange and brown. What are your thoughts? I'm probably going to have to do two coats on that, but we'll let that dry first. And while that's drying, I'll go ahead and get some white and do some little accents. Like on the nose. This stuff, these little touches just kind of give it a little bit of a three-dimensional quality and make it look like the light is bouncing off the design. Just gives it more visual interest. Listen to me using all fancy words. <laughs> and I'm going to have to do some more brown, but... Um, because it is very, like you may not be able to tell in the video, but up close it's very splotchy. And you don't want it splotchy, you want it to be like nice and smooth, like chocolate. And get some more of this burnt umber. Luckily with this brown though, like the second coat usually covers pretty good and you, you don't usually have to do three coats. One of the browns I use you do, it's like nutmeg brown and it has a lot of red tones in it. And I usually have to do like three coats to make that brown look good. But this one, not so much. I keep feeling like I got a hair on my arm. <laughs> good morning. How are you guys? I see a few people popping on still. We're up to 40. That's awesome. And thank you to those of you who have shared the video. It's such a help to me when you do that because it helps um, new people find my page and just helps support me and my family. So if you know somebody who loves to paint, tag them in the video and like share this with them so they can learn a few things. I may not be like 100% the best paint teacher, but I try. I've had three paint parties in a row this weekend. This, this is like the, the first day in four days that I haven't had a paint party tonight. So I got a little bit of a break. Maybe I can get some custom orders done. <clears throat> Oop, I got it a little bit in my the beak of my owl's nose there. Let me get some orange and fix that. Oh, I need a paper towel over here. There we go, problem solved. Okay, so we got a second coat. He looks a little less splotchy. He's still wet, but Okay, I think we can go ahead and paint the eyes black. No, actually, scratch that. We gotta paint one more coat of this turquoise real quick. So that those look nice and bright, because I want them to be a bright teal. And right now you can still see the wood grain just a tiny bit, so we'll smooth that out. And now for the black. 
Kay says, where do you get your patterns? I've had a lot, and, and my templates, I've had a lot of people ask me that lately. I actually draw these out by hand. Um, what I usually do is like draw them out on craft wrapping paper first. You know, you can get it for like a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And then I will like cut it out and keep the stencil so that every time I draw it, it's the same size and it looks the same. Um, I've had a lot of people ask like if they could buy the door hangers or the templates. And what I'm thinking about doing is figuring out a way to upload my patterns online so that you can, and I'm setting up a website. I haven't got it completely done yet, but I will share that with you guys as soon as I do. And I'm going to set up the website so that you can go online and buy the templates. And I know you wouldn't be able to like print them at home as big as you need them, but what you could do is take them to like your local, local print shop or uh, Office Depot or something like that and have them printed as big as you want them. And so then all you would have to do is trace them on wood and cut them with a jigsaw. So if you think that's something you might be interested in, please comment and let me know because it's kind of a relatively new idea that I haven't implemented yet. And um, I'm kind of curious to see how many people would like to do that. If you are interested but you're scared to death of the jigsaw, I might even do like a little tutorial video on how to use the jigsaw. Because honestly, I didn't know how to jigsaw either until about three years ago. And I had a project I wanted to do and I had my dad teach me how to do it. And it didn't take but like five minutes for him to teach me. And just, I mean, you just have to start with something simple. That way it doesn't overwhelm you. And, you know, you don't, it's like riding a bike. You're not going to just take off and pedal the first time. You need to start with something easy. Okay, so we've got the eyes of the owl, but see, he doesn't look very alive. What you need to do, if you've got owls, uh, owl eyes or eyes on any creature that look kind of dead, you just get you a little brush, get a little bit of white, and you do like a little dot of white. Just one little dot and kind of put them up in the corner so it looks like the light's bouncing off his eyes and that'll make him look more alert, more awake. Thank you, Michelle. Great idea, you think that would be good. Okay, good. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is maybe do some black outlines and stuff and then we'll probably be done with this little guy. He, he's looking pretty complete. I'm, I was hoping to get him done today so that I could hurry up and ship him out to California because I know she is wanting to go ahead and get those things put on the wreaths. And as soon as I get those out to her, I will ask her if she will send us a picture of this put on the wreath, because I, I would love to see it myself. Right now I'm just trimming out all the details with black. Finally used mine. Oh, you finally used your jigsaw. It's not as hard as you thought it would be. I like, I kind of think of it like, electronic or electric scissors you know what I mean like you have to think of it kind of like scissors you're cutting out a design and um, yes it's much more dangerous than scissors but I honestly I've been doing this for three years and I've only ever cut myself with a jigsaw one time and that was very early on because I was getting too worried about um, bumping into the sawhorse underneath the wood and I wasn't paying attention to where my finger was and I ran right into my finger. I didn't saw my finger off. It just barely nicked it and I needed a band-aid and it wasn't catastrophic. I didn't have to go to the hospital or anything. So, I mean, I don't think it's really that dangerous as far as that goes. There are much more dangerous tools. I'm gonna go ahead and outline the outside part of this wing too. I'm just doing an, a solid black like that. Kind of like this freshens it up, I guess. He's so cute. Turquoise adds a nice pop of color. I thought so too. I didn't want him to be too bland uh, in one color. Where do you buy your paint brushes? Um, somebody asked that earlier, Monica, and I'm going to post a link on here. Uh, when I get on my computer after I get off the video, I'll post a link in the comments to where I go and buy my brushes. That way you guys can can find them. I'm gonna quit talking while I outline these <laughs> while I outline these eyes. So I need to keep a steady hand. Gotta hold my breath sometimes so it looks nice and even. What kind of wood do I use? I buy my wood at Lowe's. It is like a quarter inch birch plywood. Um, 
I think they call it Revolution plywood, like the brand is called Revolution. It's got a nice, smooth, like veneer type coating on the outside of it. And I think that's so that it will be weatherproofed because it's intended to put like behind vinyl siding or something. Okay, and I think he needs a few more like little highlight details around like his ears or something because there's nothing going on up there. You love the template idea. Thank you for the feedback, Laura. I really appreciate that. I'm going to try to get that up and running ASAP because I've had a lot of people asking me about that. And I think it would be a real blessing to a lot of people that are wanting to cut their own door hangers because it can be kind of expensive if you're buying all of your cutouts from someone else. And I, I promise you, if you learn to use the jigsaw, it will really give you a lot of freedom because you'll be able to cut whatever you dream up essentially i'm just going to do this like highlighting all around the edges okay he's all done yay what do you think guys I'm not going to put a bow on him because, like I said, she's going to put him on a wreath and uh, somehow attach him to the wreath. So, I'm excited to ship this to California today. Hopefully, she'll send me some pictures. Let me know what you think. Post your questions, and uh, I will try to get on here and answer them. Thank you for joining me today, and thank you for sharing. Uh, it's such a blessing to me. Thank you. Bye-bye.